In this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral problem. We're going to take a look at the integral of the sine tangent x all over cosine squared x dx. At first glance, you might think that uh, you might not think that this is a u substitution problem. It really is a u substitution problem, even though at first glance it doesn't look like anything's going to cross out. The way I'm going to choose my u is I'm going to take a look at the inside part of this numerator. I've got the sine of tangent tangent x. All right, that tangent x is on the inside, so that's what I'm going to let my u be. So I'm going to let u equal tangent x. When I take the derivative of both sides, I'll have a du is equal to secant squared x dx. If I go ahead and solve all the way down for dx, I'll have a du over a secant squared x is equal to my dx. Okay, so then I'm going to come back up here, work on this integral, and I'm going to do the substitutions. All right, so I'll have the integral of sine, I let tan x be u, so I'll have sine of u, and then all over cosine squared x, replacing that dx with what I said it was going to be equal, I'll have a du all over a secant squared x. Okay, now at this point, nothing crosses out yet. All right, however, I can take a look at that secant squared x, and I can do a reciprocal identity for that and substitute in a 1 over cosine squared x. And I'm actually going to show that, even though it's going to look a little awkward. All right, we'll have the integral of sine u all over cosine squared x times du. Replacing that with that reciprocal identity, I'm going to have 1 over cosine squared x. Okay, now that creates a complex fraction there. I'm just doing it for those people that might need to see the algebra steps. I can multiply through by the cosine squared of x and then fix that so it's not so yucky looking right there. Um, we'll have the integral of sine u over cosine squared x times just a plain cosine squared x and then with our du out here. All right, that gets us to where we want, where we can now actually cross out those cosine squared x's, and it's going to leave us with the integral of sine u du, which is a straightforward integration there. We'll have a negative cosine u plus c, and then replacing that u with our tangent, we'll have a negative cosine tangent x plus c for a final answer. So, definitely just a straightforward u substitution, um, even though at first glance it maybe didn't look like it was going to be a u substitution. Definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks.